Howdy folks, how's it going? Thought today I'd do a lesson for Love and Cup by the Rolling Stones. Kind of always like that song and figured I'd do that one today. So that one can be played with a capo or without a capo. I'll run through a quick version of both of them. So without a capo is probably the easier way to play it. If you've got two guitars that you want to play, you can have somebody else play this part and then you can play the other part with the capo and that sounds pretty cool too. But um, without a capo, we're going to start like this. We have a little piano intro for it. It's going to sound something like... G chord and we're going to hammer on the suspension so that's going to be second string at one fourth string at two and we're going to want to hammer those on so it's going to sound like all right and then we have this little lick that goes so that's the third string at two twice third string open fourth string at two, fourth string open, and then it ends with the third string open. So we got, all right. Does three of these, and then it goes, and on that, you're gonna add the suspension and take it off just a little bit quicker than the other times. So it should sound like... And then we have this little... Alright, so that's the third string sliding up from 5th fret to 7th fret. And then we're going to play the first string on the 7th fret. Probably be wise to slide them both up at the same time just so you're kind of already there with your finger. So I just kind of go. And then that's going to slide, go back down to the fifth right. Now we got third string at five and first string at five. So then we got third string at four, first string at three. And then it ends with a D chord. And that's where the vocals would start. So we got. It's gonna go to a C chord. Why don't you come on up to a G? Usually add a little suspension there. change is going to be so we've got an E minor with you to D to C and from to the back to G we have a B flat for a 
a while, it just kind of holds. Just the end of it's gonna go. Ooh. All right, or something like that. So, if you listen to the song, there's actually no guitar that's playing like that in it, but there is a guitar in there, and I think he's playing with a capo on the fifth fret. So, if you have another guy on guitar, you, you could have him play this or whatever, you play this and he plays the other part. But uh, I don't really have the piano intro on this with the capo yet. I would just have the other guitar play the piano intro. So um, that would be over A, G. And then when this guitar comes in with the capo would be on this D chord. It is the first time you hear it in the song and it's going to go... It's just a D chord. I'm just kind of taking my finger off so I'm having the first string open for parts of it. We're going to go to A again. To G. Then we're going to go to G. And I To D. Back to G. that's played is going to go on with the capo you're going to go to a B minor so it's going to be so, huh, so B minor to A to G from to the five to D and we're going to go to F it's going to hold for a bit basically the gist of that song. Great tune. Have fun with it. Check it out. Have a good weekend. See you guys.